Okay, YouTubers, this is a 2006 Chevy Silverado. The rear door will not open because of the latch had a failure. Basically, there's two rods going from the top to the middle, and then another one coming from the middle down to the bottom latch. So, basically, the bottom latch isn't working, as you can see. So, I figured I'd make this video to help somebody else out. Uh, so, what I did basically was pry the uh, panel from this side, and they're basically just little latches that fit inside these holes. So, don't be afraid, just go ahead and pop those out, and then you can pull this sheet of plastic back, and then you can see the rod. And when I stuck my hand in there, uh, I realized that the bottom was still connected, but the top was disconnected. So basically, there's pieces of plastic that hold those on. If yours breaks at the bottom and you have one of these pads, just go ahead and remove that pad, and then you can see. So you can see down in there that the uh, pole is basically bent and it goes through a hole but there's a piece of plastic holding it together if that breaks you can push the rod through the hole that the piece of plastic is in and bend the rod upwards that's one way to fix it but if it's not broken so all you have to do is pull on the latch pull it up move the handle and then you got yourself an open door And then you have to remove the handle on the outside and I just went ahead and put the screws back in just to show you which ones to take off. So now you can see in there, you can see where the latch is just moving around. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and take these nuts off. So again, I just kind of put them on finger tight. Now, you can go ahead and push this in. Sorry, this is hard with two hands. Then you can rotate this out. And then I'll show you where the failure was. So basically, there's a hole right here. And that's set. So what I did was take some pliers and basically pry this down. So now it's kind of more of a hook. And then what we'll do is go ahead and put it inside that hole. So now we'll go ahead and try and do this with one hand. Okay, so now I went ahead and put the pole through here and then once I lift it up and put the bolts back in the hole it's going to have enough tension on there where it's hooked okay so now I'm going to put the nuts back on Tighten that. That's a 10, mil 10 millimeter socket or wrench. And now you can see the pole is not going to come out because it's 
hooked in there. Okay, so I had to loosen these up. Keep these loose a little bit so you can wiggle the uh, whole bracket assembly. That way you can put these screws in. Otherwise it doesn't have enough where it has too much tension and you can't move it around to align the holes. So now, tighten those up. Go ahead and tighten these up now. it back on you can probably go ahead and tape all this down but honestly I don't think it really matters I'm just gonna leave it like that for the next time another piece of plastic breaks <clears throat> so I'll go ahead put the panel back on Okay, so I literally just put it back on, these little tabs, put them in the hole, easy enough, and then you'll go ahead and put these screws back in, and you can't see the hole there because I have a melted crayon in there. Okay, so I went ahead and installed those bolts. Last piece is this one, and here are the same kind of clips that the rest of the interior panel has on all the edges. So we'll go ahead and just pull this out, make sure the bottom goes in first, push the other two clips in, and that's pretty much it. Go ahead and close it. Ops check it. Good to go, man.